Ah, finally made it. Oh. Hey, Mark. What are you doing here? Silence, squad. Now that you're here, you must fight me in the deadliest battle known to mankind. Welcome one and all. So uh, now we've got that guy out of the way, we've beaten him at Rune Link. We can uh, start getting some quests done. So this episode, we're going to be focusing on getting some of these skills up. We've got a lot of level 1 skills at the moment. And the goal of this episode is going to try and be to boost a lot of these up. We're going to be unlocking all of our skills. We're going to be getting new, uh, new ways of uh, training them. We're going to be uh, just... Going through everything, we're going to be doing it all. But uh, before we start going too hard on the skilling quests, we're going to start with uh, another quest that I mentioned in the very intro of this series. Uh, we're going to start with the Witch's House. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention when I was recording this is that we have spent two chunks in order to unlock both uh, the Birthorp chunk with the Games Room and the chunk with the Witch's House in. Uh, so I'm just going to put this little bit in here, just to tell you we have spent two chunks, um, and that is, uh, that's where we're at at the moment. Because it's going to get us a lot of quest points, and it gets us a lot of uh, hit points XP as well. Um, and we're going to uh, start with that. And uh, so the long-term goal of this series, well, mid-term goal, obviously the long-term goal is the quest cape, uh, the long-term is the questcape, just said that. The medium term goal is unlocking Zaya. Uh, and now Zaya is a big, big continent, and I think it's going to take about 40 chunks to unlock it all. Well, to unlock all of the quests on Zaya. So, we're going to be spending a, quite a few of these uh, episodes building up all of our quest points to that point and then once we have enough we're going to be spending it all on Zaya. That's the uh, the medium term goal but right now we're going to help this crying child. Um, why is he crying? Kicked his ball over the hedge and uh, won't let uh, the witch won't let, uh, won't let him have his ball back so we're going to go get it back for him. Because that's just, it's just the kind of person we are. We're helping a child. And what you should know is if you're helping a child, you can legally break and enter. Um, don't look that up. Don't, don't check that. That's, that, that is true, but don't look it up. So we're in the house. Straight away, nice and easy. And we're going to steal this lady's diary. Do what it says. He's uh, doing experiments. Uh, lovely. Oh, and she's had sausages, experiments and sausages. Um, Professor Oddenstein, classic, we know that that man. Uh, I don't want people getting to my back garden to see the experiment, so new security system. Um, I think the kid kicks the ball into the garden a lot. And got a security system. Now to open my back door, I lure a mouse out of a port in the back porch. Okay, so we need a mouse, we need some cheese, and okay, so let's uh, have a look in the basement. Let's just have a look around this whole house. So we've searched downstairs and we've got some leather gloves and a magnet. Um, and the music stand, nothing interesting here. Have a look at the boxes. Um, play the piano. I'm going to assume that's what the she music's for. But, um... 
I think that's for a later quest when we're dealing with these guys, because uh, you don't have to deal with these guys yet, um, thankfully. I don't even know if you're supposed to be able to see them yet, but uh, we're going to just ignore them. So what we need to find, really, is some cheese to lure out the mouse. And upstairs, got a door key. Is that the same door key as the front door? It is. I don't need two of them. Um, cheese, any cheese around? Well, she's got a nice, uh, nice view from her bedroom, at least. You know, you'd pay a lot of money for that these days. But, uh, drawers are looking very empty. No cheese up here, by the looks of it. The only thing I've not done down here is the gramophone. Doesn't have a record on it. Well, yep, that would help. Okay, let's have a look out here. So there's the mouse hole. Door is locked. I need the cheese. I think I need cheese to lure it out. But where can I find cheese? So it turns out there is no cheese in that house. Um, and the best way to get it that I currently have is to get 48 cooking, um, which I currently do not have and I'm not really very close to, or to go fight Scarius, um, which I've never done. And I don't think I've really got the uh, the gear to do so yet. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to unlock this chunk a little bit early. I was planning on unlocking this chunk pretty soon. Um, but in Aggie's house over here, there is some cheese that I can just take. And I don't have to worry about, uh, you know, getting uh, training a lot. I can just get straight into doing this quest. Um, I don't know how long it takes to respawn so I'm just gonna world hop and get myself a, a couple because I know you can mess up this cheese step um, but then it'll be uh, back to the witch's house stealing from one witch to steal from another witch very fitting indeed okay we've got the cheese we're breaking in again to old Nora T Hag's house so we need to use the cheese not on the sunflowers Use the cheese on the mouse hole. Magnet on the mouse. There we go. And then we just open this door. Right, now we got to be uh, sneaky. we got to avoid this witch. This is just like... Did you know that um, Hideo Kojima uh, played this quest and then went on to make the Metal Gear Solid franchise? Yeah, not many people know that, but um, it was a big inspiration. That's why, you know, Norty Hag. Oh, oh, fuck. Well, um, let's try that again. Oh, good job I brought all this extra cheese, because you need to use it again. Wait, where's the where's my magnet? Ow! Oh, that mouse is definitely going to be gone by the time I get back. Don't find anything interesting. I'd like more than one magnet. I don't want to have to do that again. That was very annoying. All right, there we go. Second time's the charm. I'm not going to fuck it up this time. We're going to wait till she's well past us, and then we're going to go for it. And there's the ball. Oh, I think this door is locked. I think we have to go to the fountain. Yeah. God, I was going to say, where is she? She's not spawned in. Okay, to the next hedge. Can we risk going the whole way? I think we can. Let me check the fountain. Got the small key. And we're not going to be doing anything silly. We're just going to wait. Uh, 
And then when she's past here, we're just going to run the whole way. I'm going to book it. Go, go, go! And there we go. Open the door. It's locked. That's what this key is for. I'll just take the ball. Don't mind me. I don't... Alright. Glares at me. Oh, okay. I didn't realise they did that. Well, we're going to drink our strength potion. And we're going to drink it again to get our strength fully back. And we're going to mess this little guy up. What is this little guy? He is odd. Little purple man. Oh my god, purple guy? From... Five Nights of Freddy's. Oh, he's dead. So, um, now it's spider time. Right, spider down. Now it's the bear. Oh, big damage. 11 is our max here. It's good to know. That's the bear down. Now the wolf. I personally think that a wolf is not as strong as a bear. Like in real life, I think a bear would win that fight, but maybe that's just maybe that's just me. I don't know. Tell me tell me down below, who wins, wolf or bear? But it doesn't really matter who wins our wolf or bear, because the real winner is gonna be me. And this uh rune battle axe. Do you like this weapon? Knowing me, I'm going to keep it around for a lot longer than I probably should, just because I like the aesthetic of it. But either way, go on. Final hit. Come on. This time. There we go. And the wolf is down. Shapeshift shapeshift is gone. And grab the ball. Um, I think we can just get caught now. I think that actually... Uh... Oh no, we don't want to let her take it. We do have to just sneak out one final time. And we return to this child to get his ball back. It was much harder than I thought it would be. But that is quest complete, 31 quest points now, and the 4 extra quest points, very helpful for us, and uh, quite a decent amount of hit points XP, so it's why this is one of the first quests people normally do, uh, on any account, just to give themselves a little hit points boost. Now uh, that is level 41, and 50 combat. Quest complete. And uh, we're actually not going very far for the next one going to do Druidic Ritual next. So, start this quest, we're going to talk to Cake Mix, and um, don't have a worthwhile quest. Stone Circle of Arak, that's the uh, Dark Wizard Stone Circle that uh, you've probably been lured, or have lured someone to, at uh, some point in time. Yeah, I'd love to... Uh, Let's go see to Sanfu. So he is in this uh, southern chunk here, so we are going to unlock another chunk, which actually gives us access to the Tavli dungeon as well, uh, which is a uh, pretty good good dungeon, good for training, lots of, uh, lots of monsters and a couple of quests take place down there. Um, Sanfu is around here somewhere. Ah, there he is. I was stood on him. Hello. So we need meat. All different meat. Dipped into the Cauldron of Thunder, which is a very cool name. And it's um, is in the Tavoli Dungeon. But what meats do I need? I need the four different animals that have been dipped... So it doesn't actually say what the uh, the different meats are, but I know that they're chicken, beef, rat, and bear. Um, you wouldn't expect bear to be there. Oh, I suppose all rat, really. It's a bit of a interesting one. So we're going to go grab those, and we'll head right back.
So I think it's pretty obvious where we're going to get the beef from. It's from these uh, lovely cows right here. Get one shot, idiot. Um, and the chicken as well. Pretty uh, obvious, I think. Uh, I think it's the uh, the rat and the bear. Might surprise you all, because um, if we'd had this chunk unlocked, there's like a bear like here on the map. Um, but we can't get to him. Well, we could. But I'm not going to unlock that chunk just yet. So we're actually going to go somewhere else. It's somewhere we've been quite a bit before already. Can you guess where it is? And before we resolve that cliffhanger, if you're enjoying the video, don't forget to leave a like, maybe subscribe. It really helps the channel and helps my videos get out there. Um, but yeah. Now, did you guess where it was? Those of you that said the tree gnome maze, uh, congratulations, you are correct. Because there is one rat right here. Well, there's a couple of rats, but this is the one we're going to kill. And further down here is a lovely bear right there, who we're also going to kill. Sorry, bear. Um, but then we'll be back to the cauldron. And uh, we'll be able to complete this ritual. So we're in the Tavoli dungeon. And I think the cauldron, cauldron of thunder is right there. So we're just going to uh, get past these skeletons. Open this door. I'm sure these suits of armor are just going to stay normal. Oh, you could have seen that come in. See you later, idiots. And we're going to use the meat on the cauldron. We have to do each individually. We do. And then we're going to uh, run back out of here and return to... I assume we're returning to Sanfu. We're going to return to Sanfu. Hello, Sanfu. We've got all of the meat. There you go. We need to talk to Cake Mix and learn Herb Law. And it really is that easy. So we talk to Cake Mix. Hello, Cake Mix. Yep, we're all good. Teach me how to do Herb Law. Cool, thank you. I do know how to do Herb Law. Quest complete. Four quest points, that's another big one. And 35 quest points. So, whoever it was in episode 1 that said I'd only get to 32, uh, fuck you. Um, and we've done it. Three Herb Lore. So we can now make the attack potions. And we've now unlocked another skill. So that is another one that's no longer level 1. Let's move on to the next one. So for our next quest, we're actually staying in the area. And we're just unlocking this little uh, chunk here. And we're going to go talk to Doric complete his quest. Now um, this one is going to be a little bit interesting because obviously it's a mining quest. It's meant to sort of introduce you to the uh, world of mining and I can't train my mining yet. Um, lower than the uh, level because I am one mining and so we need six clay, four copper, two iron and um, we're going to go get those. Unfortunately, because I am level 1 and with my chunks unlocked, um, here's a clay spot. Don't have it unlocked. Oh, that's an Zanaris. Don't have it unlocked. Um, mine down here, copper and tin. Don't have it unlocked. Uh, the only place I can really mine anything at the moment is here. Six iron or coal. And obviously my level is not high enough for that. So the way we're actually going to have to uh, get all these ores is um, killing enemies. So uh, we're going to have to go take them on and get the ores that way. Or alternatively we, uh, we come down to Falador and we just unlock the Dwarven Mine, because a lot of things take place in Falador, it's a very uh, hustling, bustling city. Uh, so we're just going to unlock these chunks as well. Um, so we can go into the Dwarven Mine, and I know that all of the uh, the rocks we need are down here. And who knows, maybe someone's having a drop party? Maybe? No, no drop party. Maybe next time. 
Um, but yeah, we'll just go down here, mine the ores, and return to Doric. So we've got all the clay and copper we need. Um, only got us two mining. Uh, so in order to get this iron, we're going to have to train our mining level up to 15, uh, which may take a little bit of time, but... Uh... What? Oh, I see. Wow. That would be easier. Right, there we go, a little murder spree completed. We have got our two iron ore. We've got some other stuff as well, some coal, a bunch of bones. Um, we had a lot more stuff, but um, I sold most of it because it wasn't all that uh, useful. Uh, did drop some bronze bars, so I am now level two smithing. Ooh, exciting. Um, but we're now going to return to Doric with these ores and complete the quest. Hello, Doric. I have returned with what you need. There you go. And just like that, quest complete, one more quest point. Decent amount of mining XP, a couple of coins, and the use of Doric's anvils. So that has now taken us to 11 mining, so we're now uh, able to mine with black pickaxes. And that has given us a nice boost for when we do need to train it up. But now we're going to go get 11 in two other skills. Uh, not here. That's right, we're doing the natural history quiz. So we're going to chat to this guy. And, uh, the guts I don't know what that means. Orlando Smith. Okay. I wonder if he's a reference to anyone in particular. Probably not. Um, let's put together a quiz. Doesn't pay much attention to a boss. Do okay. So, um, we need to basically correct all of his, uh, all of his cases. And we'll see if he's actually got anything right about them. Um, now, I don't know a lot about some of these monsters, but I can give it a go. Oh, that's just the that's just the button. That did look pretty cool, though. I like that. That'll be useful when we... Uh... Oh, I assume... Ow. Oh. Well, I didn't realise that it was... Um... going to just give me the answer, but... Oh, well. I don't know how you find out the answers about that, about this naturally. Like, how would you find this out normally if you were just about? But either way, let's, uh... Okay, all quizzes complete. So, that's a nice little uh, mini, mini quest done. And... I don't know if this counts as a mini quest actually, I'll have to double check. Um, but that is slaying and hunting. Now both level 9. I think I said level 11. I lied. What can I say? Um, I, what's down these stairs? I don't actually know what's down here. Might be nothing. It is nothing. Well. Fossil storage. Ah, oh, so this is for. Ah, uh, well, we won't be dealing with this just yet. And now let's do an actual mini quest. And the mini quest I am referring to is Daddy's Home. The uh, construction mini quest that's designed to uh, sort of get you uh, learning about mahogany homes. Um, and. <laughs> right. Okay. So rip out some broken furniture, build the replacements. Let's get to it. Nice and easy. Southeast of Arak, west of Aubrey's room shop, Yarlow. Let's go have a look for him. So here is old man Yarlow. Lady, I'm here to fix your stuff. Right, remove the furniture. Two stools, two tables, a chair, a rotten carpet. Okay, and the bed. So get rid of that. That's one stool, one table, one chair, another stool, or uh, oh, remove the rotten carpet, and the bed. So we've left them with nothing, here you go, got rid of it all, right, have a talk about that, right, 
right, so we're just going to watch a little cutscene about construction, which I think most people know what that is, so I'm just going to skip this. Well, I have to say I was sold on construction from that. I mean, I do like construction as a skill when I can actually train it, but um, we're going to need some basic wooden planks and nails. Um, and new carpet. So we don't have anything. Sounds quite damp. So he's got some waxwood logs, which we're going to have to take to the sawmill. So where did? So he's got some logs here, thankfully, and he's got the waxwood logs as well. Um, so we're just going to collect everything we need, and then we'll head to the sawmill. So of course, if we're heading to the sawmill, that means we're going to need to unlock the sawmill chunk. And I assume we just need to chat to the man and be like, make these into planks. And I need some cloth and nails as well. I hope I got enough money. I mean, I know training is expensive, so let's hope I've got enough. Okay, we had enough and we completed a nice easy task. So we've now got ourselves a saw, so we should be able to make uh, other things in our home when we get to it. Uh, so let's get back to old Yarlo and fix his stuff for him. Right, we're back with Yarlo and we're going to waste no time just building this table for him and just completely ruining all of our nails because we're only level one and now we're level two. One table built and we're level two construction already. So that's the stool, that's the bed, took us straight to level four construction. Level five construction, we can now build a kitchen now that we've built that table. It's the other stool, that's the chair and the carpet, which takes us to level 6 construction, which is pretty impressive just from doing uh, this one house. Okay, now we head back to Marlow, tell him that we fixed his dad's house up for him. And as we return to Marlow, we've helped his dad. He's promised, what, what have you got? What have you got for me? Very much money. So, basically, we've got a free house, which saves us a thousand uh, coins. And some handy spell tablets that will take us to our own house. Well, that's pretty useful. And some creator supplies. 400 construction XP. Which takes us to level 8. And that is the mini quest, Daddy's Home Completed. So that gives us one extra chunk and a free house. So we're going to continue our expansion of our chunks with Varrock. And we're going to unlock this one here. Um, so I think we're going to do possibly one of the more forgettable quests in this game, but I personally kind of like it. It's uh, it's we're going to do a soul's bane, uh, which we're going to do over here. Uh, we're going to talk to Lorna, and we're going to uh, start this quest off. Hello, Lorna. You look very sad and decrepit. Um, opened by itself a few months ago, so people have gone down. And um, come on, let me help. A son Tolna. You don't know what your son looks like. Okay. He ran away 25 years ago. And, um... It's very, very unlikely that he is just down in this hole. But, um, sure. Let's go have a look. Um, you can use a rope. I don't have a rope. So, um... Let's go get a rope and I'll be right back. Okay, Lorna, we've returned, and we're going to go save your kid that might be down there after 25 years, which honestly, insanity. Oh, well, apparently he is trapped in such a wretched place. Feel his anger. Okay, that could have been, that probably could have been a bit more aggressive, but I'll be honest, I'm just not feeling the anger, you know? Um, so there's some weapons here. What weapons do we want? Let's take the battle axe. Coolest weapon, I think. Um, and what can we kill with this battle axe? Can we kill the bear with the battle axe? By the looks of it, no. Can we kill the goblin? Oh. Okay, well. We're just going to go over here and hopefully the bear will stop wanting to attack us. Or do we try... Uh, spear? 
Come on, bear, let's go. That looks like we can hurt it. Yeah, not so big now, are you, Mr. Bear? Well, our rage level is going up, which I can only assume is a good thing. It's the bear down. Um, are there any more bears I can kill? There's two unicorns. There's a rat. Um, can I? Oh, I have to swap out again if I want to. Um, what is there? Sword. Sword of the unicorn. I am punching it with my hands. Let's try the sword again. Okay, here we go. Okay, we are taking quite a bit of damage, so let's just back up a bit. Don't want to lose my hardcore stats right after I told that guy that I was, uh, you know, surviving, despite his best attempts at betting. With 36, that's more than 32, but still pretty close. I want to keep it for as long as I can. Rage level is definitely building, so we're definitely getting there. Okay, we are fuming. We are absolutely fuming. And that is going to kill every... Uh, and so, oh, 40 XP. Something truly mental about this place. Yeah, you're not wrong, uh, me. Oh, see you later, Tolna. I can't live by your rules anymore. Aren't you, like, 10 years old? What rules... Working hard... Oh, is she sending him, like, down the mines? Oh, oh my god. Okay, Tolna. Um... That's what a brutal thing to say to your mum. Like, I'm tired of your pathetic outlook. Sound like a bloody anime villain. But let's go through into the next room. Oh, the fear room. So I know this room contains uh, some, some little jump scares. So those of you with a nervous disposition oh, you may want to look away now. I know we've got to go around the room, look in these dark holes, and hopefully not get jump scared. Is there anyone in here? Hello? Nope, no jump scare in that one. This could take a while. Whoa! Jump scare, and I'm not wearing my weapon. Fear Reaper. He was pretty spooky. I'll give him that. Okay. He may be spooky, but he doesn't particularly hit any hit very hard. So um, let's come back when these are all dead. Right, and I think that's the last one. Um, there we go. Feels like a figment of someone's imagination. So, oh, Tolna, go and exploring, are you? And just gonna jump in that big oh no you're just gonna fall into the big hole okay um well i suppose that's kind of that kind of makes sense so where is the exit aha so we're gonna go through this exit and then we're immediately gonna go leave and get some food because uh these monsters have been hitting harder than they thought i would than i thought they would but um oh the confusion room. Am I still the person I once was? Tolna, despite everything, it's still you. Come on now. Why am I so confused? Oh no, he's so confused. Right. Well, while he's dealing with that confusion, let's go get some food. Right, I liberated all these cups of tea. So we're now going back down to the confusion room. And the reason I bought sort of some maybe some magic maybe some range stuff is because you can it does sometimes make killing these confusion beasts easier um but we'll see so i know that you can't um does this creature even exist i've been poisoned amazing um i'll just drink that tea and then much better so I know they disappear after you hit them so many t a certain amount of times. I'm not sure how many times, but um, you okay? So we need to find the correct one and then um, kill it. 
And I think killing the right one gets rid of one of these doors. And then we can um, get to the next level. So what I mean by using the range is now we can uh, just shoot these guys. And because they are doing zero, they basically can't really damage me. Um, and I'm hitting zeros on them until I find the correct uh, enemy. And then I'm going to attack that one normally. Right, that is all the confusion beasts down. Tolna's mind really is a mess. But, um, I don't want to. How can you say that? Okay, so we got swallowed up by the cave. It's having some, uh, some creepy vision. Done nothing wrong? I don't know. I saw how you spoke to your mum. I don't know if that's, that's what, like, a, a nice kid will do. But let's enter the confusing door. What's the point? No one will ever help me. Aw, Tolna. And that takes us into the room of hopelessness. Bah, 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 hopeless. Bah, bah, bah. So, just a lot of hopeless creatures in here. So, I think we just have to keep killing them until... Hello? What are you shooting at me? Keep killing them until they disappear for good. So I finally dealt with the hopeless creatures. Um, I had to go back and uh, bake myself some bread and steal myself some tea uh, because uh, they were hitting me very hard. And so now we've only got one fight to go, which I am going to heal up before I go into. Um, and we're going to go save Tolna. Don't worry, Tolner, I'm coming. One final cutscene. Oh, it's his dad. And the freakiest looking guy. Hey, Tolner, what the hell happened to you? No longer the boy you once were. Yeah, he's a big, what do you mean? He's a big snake man. He's like a little snaky freak. Aw, always be my son. Well, that's nice at least. There must be a way. 25, yeah, to be fair, that is a long time to uh, to disappear. But you did sort of fall into a hole in the ground, Tolna, so... Lies. Oh. I like how it's giving me the text box above the head as well. It's very nice. We're both going to die. Oh, okay. Well, come on then, Tolna. You bitch, let's go. That's a bit worrying that it was not... Showing me my the damage I was taking there. Okay, he is hitting me quite a lot. And I have been poisoned, so let's just make sure we're keeping on top of our hit points here. Ooh, this is a bit rougher than I thought. I might have to uh might have to run here. No, attack the main head, come on. Okay, no, we're peacing out. <laughs> Sorry, Brana. We'll uh, we'll come back and get your son in a minute. We need some more food. Right, be right back, Lorna. Your son's a big snake man. Right, we're back. We're going to take on Polner again, and this time we're hopefully not going to do very bad. But this is the head that attacks more often, so we're going to start with this one because he seems to holy shit, he is hitting me hard. Right, one head down. This should hopefully be a bit easier now. I think I want to take on this magic head now. They are still hitting me for a lot. Let's turn all the retaliate off. It keeps getting me in trouble. It keeps turning me away from the head I want to attack. Here we go. I was starting to think it probably would have been easier to come in with like ranged or magic, seeing as I think only this head would have been able to attack me. But, um... Never mind. We're here now. And this is a lot... Yeah, now that this head here is dead, this is a lot simpler. I'm not being hit a million times a second. Oh, come on now. There we go. Right, just this one left. I'm going to full heal with all of our food. Didn't think he would take all of my food off of me, but... Here we are. And now we just fight... Fight or die. There we go. Easy peasy. See you later, Tolna. 
That was not easy peasy. That was actually really hard. Look, it's a proper man. Hello, Tolna. What happened? What? Well, oh boy, howdy. What? What did happen? Legacy of a civilization that used to live down here. What are you talking about, Tolna? It's no such thing. Misses you dearly. It's been 25 years. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Um, yeah, let's go back. We did it. Lorna, where are you? Right, okay, we're talking to Tolna, so... Found remnants of an ancient civilization. And then, um, got swollen... swollen hole. Okay, I'll definitely practice fighting down there. They didn't definitely all kick my ass last time. But anyway, that is quest complete. All of that for one quest point. Um, but now we're at 37 total. And um, that was very hard. Harder than I think it should have been. And now we're just going to complete a medium task in the Varrup Diary by going back down there. And then we are leaving again. Right, let's get the fuck out of here. See you later, Tolna. Now, in the spirit of unlocking even more uh, skills, I'm going to go talk to Duke Horatio and ask him for a quest. And I'll tell you what quest he's got. He's going to show us this talisman, and we're going to take it to uh, Aubrey. I oh, know we're not. We're going to take it to the Wizard's Tower and find Serador. And we're going to give him that. And thus we start Rune Mysteries. So we are now at the Wizard's Tower. Um, I took a little bit of a detour just to get myself 25 agility at the Draenor rooftop course, just because um, I needed... I'm going to be running about a lot, so I thought it'd be a good idea to... Uh, get that up but now we've unlocked the wizard's tower we can go return this uh well get this air rune looked at air talisman looked at uh, and i also brought these beads along because we're actually going to be uh, a bit cheeky and do a quest while we're doing a quest like a bit of questception um and so before we go down and chat to the old uh, rune mysteries guy we're going to go up to this top floor and talk to mitzog give me a quest Give me a quest, please. There you go. Oh, your imps. Oh, the imp stole your beads. Um, wow, that's crazy. I just happen to have those beads on me. And again, we're just speed, speed running that, um, speed running that quest. Ignore that Discord notification. It wasn't you. It was me. And um, bam, quest complete. One more quest point. Amulet of accuracy. And a little bit of magic XP, which gets us, again, that was me, 14 magic. But now we go talk to Serador. Hello, Serador. Can you uh, have a look at this old... There you go. It's a normal air talisman. Oh. Okay, last piece of the puzzle. The puzzle for the Forgotten Essence Mine. Go on, tell me all about it. I mean, it's the way to make runes, um, and this is the way to get to the essence mine, which the essence is used to make the runes. Um, and this talisman points to the air altar, which is how you would uh, make air runes. Thank you. He is the Archmage. Of course, he knows my name. Right, so we're going to go speak to Aubrey in Varrock. And he can uh, make sense of all of this rune crafting stuff. Hello, Aubrey. I've got a package for you. I don't want to trade with you. Not yet. Um, here you go. Package from Cerador. Yep, let's have a look. It's incredible. Yep, you're welcome. Getting ahead of ourselves. Okay, please take them back to Cerador. Okay. That was nice and easy. Quick conversation. Straight back to Cerador we go. Hey, Serador, I'm back. I rushed straight there. I didn't stop for a kebab on the way. Um, not at all. Here you go. Here's some notes. The Lost Incantation, so we can get to the Essence Mine. Oh, you're welcome. I'd love to uh, to go to there. And, and the Air Talisman back. Craft Air Runes. Nice and easy. And that is another quest complete. And that is 39 quest points total. And we get access to the Rune Essence Mine, which is very nice. I know a lot of chunkers who would kill to have this currently. But, um... I'm going to leave you to it, Serador. 
we've got one more quest to do. And to start this quest, we need a singular gold coin, because we're going to talk to Aris. And start the Demon Slayer quest. What does your crystal ball tell you? Very impressive looking sword. Oh, she's had a bit of a, bit of a scare. So Delrith is coming, who's a demon. Um, so we need to find Silverlight. Um, so we're going to find Silverlight. Oh, and we're watching this important cutscene where I need to be writing something down. So the Chaos Druids and Wally the Hero took him down. Now what was that incantation again? Uh, Gabindo, Perchai, Kalem, Abahamarinthum. Fantastic. So I've got that all written down now, so I'm not going to be able to forget it. Greatest Demon Slayer ever. Yeah, nice work, Wally. That's my goat. The Wally fandom is dying. Retweet if you're a true Waller. That was fucking stupid. Right, so we need to find... Silverlight. We need to find Silverlight. And find Silverlight, slay the demon, easy peasy. So we need to find a descendant of Wally. And thankfully, I know who that descendant is. This man right here, surprising. Get it like surprising. Hello. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Aris said she could come. Need to find Silverlight. Fight Delrith. Right. Problem is getting Silverlight. Where is it? So powerful. Put it in a special box which needs three different keys. And where are the keys? Oh, he's got one of the keys. One's to Roven and one's to Trailborn. Give me your key. You lost it. Just outside the past kitchen. It's in the drain. Where's Captain Roven? So, Raven's in the palace, and the wizard is in the wizard's tower. So, let's go... Let's go talk to the captain of the guard first. There he is, Captain Raven. Any palace guards? This is important. There's a demon who wants to invade the city. It's Delrith. The most dangerous demon of all time, Captain Raven. Come on. I'm going to fight the demon. Give me Silverlight. Because... <sighs> the demon will destroy the city. Oh my god. Aris said that I was destined... Oh my god. Surprise and said you'd give me the key. Captain Raven, tell you what. I'm going to let this demon destroy the city. And then we're all going to blame you for it. And then who's going to look silly? Come on. Okay, admittedly we are laughing at surprises, so maybe we can bond over that. But also, you're a dickhead, Raven. Goodbye. That would have been a lot cooler if I went down the stairs there. Don't, you, don't mind me. See you later. Right, so I've liberated a bucket from someone's bedroom upstairs. Um, now that I have taken it, it's sort of occurs to me it might be like a chamber bucket so that's disgusting but let's uh get this key from the drain right use the bucket of water on the drain and now we go down to the sewers to get the key right so we're in the sewers and i know it's this way we've got to go to get the old key I think it's around here somewhere. Um, rusty key. Right there. There it is. This key has definitely seen better days. Like, I don't even know if that would even work at this point. But uh, we're going to have to hope that it does. And now we've got to go see Trayborn at the Wizard's Tower. So, we're here with Trayborn. 
Um, now I do remember from doing this quest before that he needs a lot of bones. Um, and so uh, I've, I took a, a quick detour to the chicken pen and um, so we're going to go give him to old Trayvon who is not completely in his right mind. Um, and so now uh, we need to get him a bunch of bones. Here you go. Have some bones. And I would like the key, please. Thank you very much. See you later. Um, and now to go get Silverlight. Right, we are returning to Surprise Inn with all of the keys. So, where's he going? Oh, it's just in the wall this whole time. I'll be honest, you probably could have broken that glass and got it out. But, that's fine. Not good quest design. That is a very cool sword, to be fair. Right, now we've got that. We're ready to go slay a demon. Let's go. Okay, we're all suited up. Let's go take on this uh, city-destroying demon. Hey guys, Mighty Delroth. I'd rather you didn't bring him back to life. But, what can you do? He does look cool. I think he's had a redesign since I last played this quest. He does look very cool. Right, now I think... We've got to be careful because it's not a multi-combat area. So, yeah, we've got to... Let's turn off auto-retaliate. And we're going to hide until Delrith gets close. Oh, no, we're not. We're going to just take on these Dark Wizards. They're pretty easy to deal with. And I'll be honest, for a city-destroying demon, I was expecting him... To not be level 27 and also to not have 7 health. Now let me just quickly check my notes what the incantation was. It was Gabindo. Perchai. Kalum. Abba. Kamenritham. Fuck that last word up but that's fine. Does that mean something? Is that like Latin or something? Or is that just a fake, made up, like, language for that? So anyway, that is Delrith defeated. Demon Slayer completed. Three more quest points. Now we're up to 42. Easy peasy. And that is where we're going to end this episode. Thank you all for watching. Now that we've got a start on a lot of our skills... Next episode we're going to spend some time cleaning up a lot of the quests around Lumbridge and meet one of my favourite NPCs in this game. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video or you're enjoying the series make sure to leave a like and a comment, uh, it helps my videos get out to more people and maybe someone else will be able to enjoy this video too. And a special thanks to my YouTube members, thank you so much for your additional support and with that I'll catch you all later. Bye bye!